Hey, 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 this is the boat doctor. Hey, out here in the bay trying out this new uh, eyeglass uh, spyware camera. Anyway, we got a 2023-21 Discovery. It's got a 65 gallon fuel tank in it. A beautiful red, fire engine red. Top, sides, got the little duck up on the top up there. Uh, square stock framing uh, with material attached right here. Uh, so it doesn't scar up your vis your visor glass. Got tandem axle trailer, gear bath oil hubs, brown good, white bad, five lugs. You got bunks. Uh, we need to adjust them trailer bunks. I'll show you in the rear. You got four four by fours with slicks on this. I uh, got a keel roller. Now the boat does not ride on that keel, just so you know. I've said that before, but heavy duty. Uh, tandem axle trailer with brakes on both axles discs got anchor guard got a tow kick rail right here that keeps that water spraying down large portholes for drains on that front deck shallow deck that's good too because you don't want a real deep deck because then if you do take them over the bow it's going to take longer to get out uh, gas vent right here led lights gas fill here i put 40 gallons of non-ethanol this here is a rocket launcher. You put your bottle rockets in there. Nah, that's a window stop. And you got uh, your two, two pin uh, well hassle. You can take that window with grease zerts on it. Dual wipers. And I don't know how this video is gonna turn out, but we'll know tonight. Okay, you got your brake fluids up underneath here. That thing's gotta be pulled all the way ahead. Then you just go like this, turn it off. And check in there. Yep, good brake fluid. Put this down, click it, you can back up by turning that. Uh, you got uh, on the trailer wire, it's a flat uh, four. I got my adapter. And then we go back here. You got the, here's another nice thing on their back drops. These snap on the inside and then curve back and attach up there. Uh, the reason for that is they're not on the outside so the wind can't catch it. So these don't flop going like this all over the place when you're going down the water. Uh, it's got a reverse chine on it right here. You look all the way up, you can see that reverse double. So that keeps the boat stable. And this is what I'm saying, this needs to be adjusted, pushed down. The other side does too. Welded on zinc, which is good. You got your kicker, the T99 Yamaha. There's your oil drain right there. There's your pickup, your earmuffs go on here. You put them on, turn the water on, then start the motor, then shut the motor off, turn the water off. You got your 11 by seven, and here's your trim right here. They're salt water protected, just like the main one. You got your drain plug right down there. This is a 15 pitch right hand rotation aluminum. It's an F200, those are good motors. Uh, you got that variable camshaft timing, so at 2200, I got another ship coming, boy, low tide. Uh, at 2200, you get your horsepower starts. A lot of boats is 38 to 4,000 to 4,400. You got your element uh, transducer. We did have to put the new RS150 GPS antenna. I'll show you that. You got your uh, three-legged ladder. So you wanna make sure this one's pinned <laughs> at all times. Now you pull this and this thing comes down like this. Now, this is what I'm saying, this pops up, so you don't really even need to pin that one. But if this one here isn't pinned right here, if you stepped on that, you could go, ooh, not good, okay? So you wanna make sure that tilts down. Uh, drains, Clarkston, Washington. You got up there, you got your uh, welded downrigger pads, good snaps, this is a towable top. Uh, the only ones that actually say you can tow with it. You got your uh, ski pylon, your anchor light, uh, gear bath oil hubs again, they're good. A quarter to three, or a half to three quarters full on those. Okay. And that's that RS150 that's hooked into like a NEMA. Right here, it had the old coax type, didn't work, wouldn't pick it up. But this does need a Navionics card. All you do is get base map, like blue and yellow. You see, you get no buoys, no channels, none of that. Island Bay, he was here not too long ago. So then anyway, I'll grab a handle, good idea. Come on up to here. Kind of excited on this camera, I just hope it works good. I'm gonna look here in the mirror and see. 
where it's pointed. Can't see, but I can hook it up to my phone and look at it that way too. Okay, here's your drain plug. You got cup holders, drains in here. This here is wired. Actually, when you have the battery switch off, this comes on. I'm gonna put that in my notes. It should shut off when you turn your battery switch off. Here's your primer bulbs right here. Uh, prime that up. There's your dual bilge pumps. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's my be for a filter. That he ain't gonna use evidently. Because of the fuel lines. I'll put that right there until the helmet fell off. There's your wash down pump and you can actually flush it out in the winter time. Just take that cap off. You can put antifreeze in there or just leave it off. Take the hose out and it'll drain. Your dual batteries are right up under here. Storage. You got rod holders. You got your seats here. Uh, I don't know if this comes with sleeper seats. Sometimes they do. I didn't see the bars in here. You got your suspension seats. You flip down arms, this is for the back. You got your sliders, you got your height adjustment down there. Uh, cup holders, USB port, cup holders. Then down in here, there's a valve back there. I don't know if you can see it, but if you close that valve, there's a fish box up there that will retain the water. So if you're not using it, I'd open that valve up. So if it rained, you wouldn't have that full of water. Here's your control box. Here's your key switch. That's for the main, so that would be the starting key. I would imagine this is for the kicker, and I imagine that would be the key for that. Let's see, nope. That's your main key switch. Fuel's a half tank. Nav light. Yep, it's working. Horn works. Port wiper. Starboard wiper. These are accessories. I'll set this up when I'm out there. So we're good to go. Okay, this is the boat doctor. Uh, you need to fix that. Got drains slipped back in there so the water gets on here. It's gonna go in there where your pump pumps it out. Uh, rear entry door. That's to get to your pump. You can also get through there uh, to get to your lower bolt holes and a little easier to get to your bilge pumps if you ever have to change them. And this is what I'm talking about on the top. It folds back and snaps right here. And then these snap here instead of on the outside. And these are pretty tough. And then they use seam sealer on the tops and Velcro so they don't leak as much. They're all gonna leak a little bit, but it helps. So anyway, I'm gonna jump out of here. Make sure it does, it got the drain plugs. Tie downs are off. Yep, yep. Okay, well, I will see you on the water. Hey Jimmy, how you doing buddy? Now then I can go to my quick little watch and I can hit this one here.